Hey, what's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Fallon6190 here. Um, haven't been around much lately. Having some really bad computer issues. I uh, think I got everything fixed, so hopefully I'll have this new video up. Uh, this will be another uh, edition of a horror movie poster collection. Got two new posters I wanted to show. Um, basically, the reason I'm sure you've probably seen this one if you guys are seen any of my other videos, but wanted to show the frame. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments about where I get my frames from um, so just thought I'd uh, show you guys um, where I get mine from is a there's a, st there's a store uh, here in town called um, Aaron's Brothers and it's usually where I find the frames I'm looking for I haven't found them anywhere else um, arts and crafts stores all that other stuff never found them uh, the ones I use hold on a second this for you guys the frames I use <clears throat> they come with these little clips on the back and uh, yeah you just unclip them and uh, you slide the cardboard piece you know right out and then your poster goes in there you put the cardboard piece right on clip it right back up and you're good to go um, I found various other 27 by 41 frames at different stores but I like these the best they work for me um, if I ever got to pull a poster out to take to a convention or something it's real easy um, but yeah uh, if there's an Aaron's Brothers in your area I would recommend checking it out seeing if you can find some of these um, uh, you might be better served just to go up there uh, because I, there's two in the area where I live. One that's like 10 minutes from my house. I hardly ever find the 27 by 41 frames there. Um, there's another one that's further out in Houston. Um, probably about a 20 to 30 minute drive in the Galleria area. That's usually where I find the ones I'm looking for. And um, they ha uh, they run a sale every now, a couple times a year. Um, where it's uh, you buy one frame. And you get another frame of equal or lesser value uh, for a penny. So uh, I was expecting two new posters in. So I went and picked up two new frames. And uh, you know got two extra ones. Um, so I was able to get these two framed up finally. Um, my Night of the Zombies. And... my maniac so yeah um reason I say go up there is because uh I'll tell a quick story um they were having the sale one time and uh, I went up there to the one in the gallery area and um found one frame and uh so I pulled it out of the thing and I put it right next to the cashier and I was looking through all their stuff couldn't find any other ones and I was like damn I really want to get two of them you know take advantage of the sale you know and uh so I asked the lady at the front front uh counter um if they had any more uh 27 by 41 frames in the back and she told me that uh oh I'm sorry uh we don't carry those size frames those are too big and I was like what and she was like yeah we don't carry those frames so I was like well you have to because I just found this one in your on your shelf you know and um, so I would, you know, you never know if you're getting someone new or somebody who just doesn't want to go look or, you know, if you call. So I would always recommend you just going up there if you have one of these stores in your area and check it out. So, but yeah, so let's get on to the new ones. Check that out, guys. Centuries of evil have just awakened. Mausoleum. So yeah, um, I vaguely remember this movie. Uh, I, I saw it when I was little, when I was a kid. I believe it has something to do with, uh, there's this lady, someone in her family dies, she goes to the cemetery, 
um, she enters this mausoleum and I think she gets possessed by something and uh, I remember her like vaguely um, having people that are uh, guys random guys having sex with them and then she kills them afterwards so she gets possessed by some kind of demon and um, if I remember right I think she even turns into like a at, towards the end she turns into like a full bore demon and I remember that if, if this is the right movie and you guys can tell me if I'm right or wrong um, her breasts actually turned into like little monsters that have mouths on them trying to bite, you know, so. But like I said, I saw it once when I was little, but I actually absolutely love the uh, poster art for it. Remember the VHS uh, all the time sitting on the shelf. I don't think this has ever been released on DVD, so that's another one we need to get get on DVD as quick as possible. So, but, uh, yeah, I just love that uh, artwork. So that's one, guys. Let's move on to the next one. And it is <clears throat> Creepers. I think pretty much everybody knows this film as Phenomena. Jennifer has a few million close friends. She's going to need them all. There you see Jennifer Connelly and all her little insect buddies <laughs> featuring music by Iron Maiden and Motorhead from Dario Argento the master of terror creepers it will make your skin crawl yeah this is another great movie uh, by Dario Argento uh, basically about I think um, Jennifer Connelly's character gets a uh, sent to this uh, boarding private school or something like that and uh, of course young girls start getting murdered and turns out she can like talk to insects and you know make them do whatever she wants and so she's basically trying to solve the murders before someone gets to her so yeah another great movie by Daryl Argento and it's really cool you know you get to hear the Iron Maiden and the Motorhead and I think even Motley Crue's in there or something like that so But yeah, I just love that artwork. So that's it. Those are my two posters that I newest posters I've gotten in. And uh Creepers and Mausoleum. So hopefully I'll be able to post a couple more videos pretty soon. Now that my computer is back up and running, guys, so uh, stay tuned. And uh, thanks to all you know, my new subscribers that I've gotten and everything. Really appreciate it. Good to know someone out there, you know, is into the same horror stuff I am. So that'll do it for now, guys. Later.